I'm gonna slide until that goes with the M's. Fuck it. Are you gonna close the sale? I'm gonna open up the lead, see if I can just slap myself in there. Is she in your pipe drive now? Well, I feel like I, feel like I don't know if she knows, but she is in mine. And on that note, guys, <laughs> this is my sales guy. Um, I, I'm ashamed to say. No, but guys, seriously, this He's is. He's jealous because I'm better looking. It's true. So, so, so guys, this is my sales guy, Esteban. Um, now, we've got a really cool video. I brought him over to the crib um, because I wanted to talk about the topic of cold calling, of sales, whatnot, because I'm very, have, very, very happy to announce that uh, end of January, thereabouts, I'll be releasing my social media marketing course. Um, so, so, so many fucking people have asked about it because I have a very interesting approach to my marketing agency. Um, you know, I talk a lot about like the systems I've built uh, to literally just get clients like through the door consistently. And I've, I've never done a sale, a cold call in my life ever. Um, but you know who has? My sales guy. Uh, and as I said, that's why I thought I would bring him on here to talk about sales and whatnot. Um, so I guess just introduce yourself. Yeah, okay, so uh, my name is Esteban. And uh, my, I've had a past in sales for the last couple of years. Never really, no, I never really went deep into sales until I opened up my own marketing agency uh, months back and I realized how big of an issue with sales are, especially for startup businesses in the marketing industry. Uh, businesses like I'm sure you guys are running. Uh, so I started getting really passionate about actually how to solve that problem. And yeah, that got me what uh, took me deep into the rabbit hole. And here I am now doing sales for uh, Mr. Iman <laughs> Gaji. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So um, the way we actually connected is he came to my event here in London like uh, two and a half, three months ago and uh, followed up with me and did very well to actually <laughs> land a meeting with me after. Um, yeah, so we went for a quick coffee uh, and he basically proposed the idea of cold calling and, you know, coming on board as my sales guy. I'll be honest, I was skeptical as fuck when he first brought it up because in my head, cold calling doesn't work. Right. And that's actually the topic of this video, like the limiting beliefs around sales and how your limiting beliefs are holding you back. Right. Um, because, you know, it, it was unknown territory for me. I had gone a completely different route in terms of my customer acquisition. Um, so, yeah, I brought him on board. I said, look, if you can land me like two meetings, like, do, like you know, let's roll with it. Let's do this. Um, I think in the space of two weeks, he got me six fucking meetings all super solid leads uh, and actually went on to assign a few of those. So look, uh, I thought I would bring him on. And uh, first of all, just ask him like, obviously I had a bunch of limiting beliefs. What do you think as uh, someone getting new into social media marketing, like what are some li limiting beliefs that uh, are holding people back and uh, how did you initially face them? Sure. Uh, well, the main limiting beliefs, guys, is that cold calling doesn't work. Unfortunately, there's a lot of gurus out there that push this belief out there that cold calling is not the way to do things. Uh, as I told you, I had a marketing agency myself, so I experimented with all the uh, well, all the methods now. Um, but did cold emailing, networking, uh, references, of which I mean references are the highest, they got the highest conversion ratio, but in terms of getting a client really quickly from zero, uh, cold calling is the way to go. You know, you, as when you're starting a business, you want to get cash as quickly as possible. So the best way to go from zero to 100 is to start getting on the phones. Visiting businesses is I know something that you guys do a lot as well. But the, the bad thing about going to businesses is the amount of time that you waste. On the phone, on the other hand, you can, instead of going one day only visiting five to six locations, you can ring up 20 in one hour. So, I mean, you can you can put things together and see how cold calling can be superior. Yeah, so um, look, it, you know, when you go down your uh, sales process and whatnot, mm -hmm. um, like obviously everyone starts somewhere and a lot of people on the other side of the screen are literally at like ground zero. Like what did you do to train yourself within the realm of sales? With, like getting comfortable with all this yeah. stuff, you know? Okay, so the, the number one thing you have to do when, when you start selling something is you have to believe in what you're selling, okay? So uh, get comfortable believing in what you got, bro. Uh, start believing in your service. It works. Just 
be comfortable with the fact that you'll be able to do it, especially with this guy's help, you will get the right information and you will get the right strategies to pull through. Once you got that belief, you just have to pick up the fucking phone and do it. And also build yourself a little script just so you can have that extra comfort behind you, that extra confidence and to actually have, have some sort of uh, strategy to actually get where you want to go. Because without a strategy, you just won't be able to close any deals. Okay. Yeah. And that, that script that he talked about, that's big. Cause I have been studying. That's kind of like my new big thing, uh, is sales over the past like few weeks. Um, because literally like two weeks ago, I closed seven and a half thousand on the phone, um, which is roughly $10,000 in like five days. Right. But these are all warm leads or hot leads. Like people who are going to buy anyways. So, um, but you know, last week, like I had like, I think like four calls. I only closed like 2k uh, on the phone last week and you know like it, the, the results weren't as solid and you know I like I didn't feel as good and like the, you know things went off the sales process and whatnot uh, you know if you look at like Jordan Belfort's like straight line persuasion uh, I'm you know I've studied that and whatnot like and uh, so obviously I brought you in because you're a master at sales uh, like I just I really really respect what you've done within that realm and um, you know all the help that you've given me and I, you know, obviously I brought you into the crib last week and I'm like, you know, like, do I need a sales script? Like how important is the sales script? Um, and obviously you were like, well, fuck yeah. Like you, you can't like, yeah. Can you elaborate on that? Macy? Yeah, a hundred percent. You can't just go in there and fucking wing it. Like if you, again, if you don't have some sort of strategy, you're never going to get to your end goal. Uh, and that's the most important thing. Number two, you're not going to get, you're not going to feel as confident on what you're, when you have it to say. Number two you won't see what you're getting wrong every time you make a phone call because uh, there's some objections that are very common. So you can actually write those down, write how you're going to resolve those objections. And then the next time they appear, you can actually uh, feel more comfortable with dealing with them. Now, uh, another very important thing that I really want to put touch on is follow up. Follow up is probably the biggest and most important thing when you're trying to sell something, when you're trying to sell yourself, when you're trying to sell a product with anything, okay? Selling involves a lot of rejection. Uh, so a lot of the sales, you won't make them on the first phone call. That's just the nature of sales. But uh, if you follow up, you can turn 100 phone calls into 400, obviously, because you got you got 100 people that you can, you can talk to. And with follow up, that means you can call each guy five to 12 times. So you automatically made yourself uh, have a higher chance of actually closing a sell, if that makes any sense. Um, but this is a really important fact that I want you guys to remember in when, when, when it comes to follow up. It takes usually around five to 12 times to close a deal. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you have to call the same guy five to 12 times to close that deal on average. Mm -hmm. Once you get that in mind, and once you start actually following up on those leads, that's when you're actually going to see the real, real big results. All right. Um, yeah. And that, that was big. Like he always presses me on the follow up and just cause as I said, I guess I've been very lucky because I put, I've like, I've put such incredible systems in place. I put such incredible email follow-ups in place. I've put such incredible funnels in place. So much, such incredible social funnels where socially like I'm building all these systems so that people are funneling to me. Um, that like, you know, I, I never really had to follow up like the, in, like people came to me with the interest. Mm -hmm. Um, so that was something he pressed hard on guys. This is his first time on YouTube. So like most people shit themselves in front of camera, but it would be fun if we just did a, uh, like a little, a, a little role play yeah, like of, sure. of, a, of a, of a phone call. So whatever. I'm a, I'm a local gym, let's yeah. say for example. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, let's roll there. All right. Um, so, okay. So Obviously, it might come across as I'm actually just winging it, but remember, I've done this so many times that there's always some sort of structure behind what I'm actually saying. So if I'm gonna ring up, let's say a gym, and let's put this in let's put this in perspective. Uh, let's say I get the the decision maker on the phone call straight away. All right, so I'm gonna be up like, uh, "Hey, hello, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Julian. Uh, can I speak to the business owner?" And he's gonna be like, "Yeah, that's me. It's Iman." And like, "Okay, great, great. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you. Now, the reason for my call." is that I actually came across your business online and I saw that we could massively help you get more customers every month. 
using social media marketing and advertising. Now, I don't know if you do anything like this or have you done anything like this before? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I have someone in-house handling it. Okay, that's perfectly fine. Uh, actually, a, a quick fun fact is that most of the businesses I call today actually are working with somebody else already. And the reason for my phone call right now is actually not to sell you my service. I merely want to have 15 more minutes of your time just so that you can maybe consider and see how we can actually make your business better. Because one of the main reasons why I created this agency was because all of the other agencies out there, they cannot deliver results. They just don't do the work real pretty much. Now, uh, all, again, all I need is 50 minutes of your time. I know you're a busy guy. Uh, when can we do a meetup? So you said you found my business online. Why did you decide to call me after looking at my business? Is it was, Did you find something wrong or... Well, I mean, there, there is a lot of stuff that I have to point out. I mean, there's there's obviously stuff that you could do better. Mm-hmm. Again, I'm not here. I'm not trying to I'm not trying to give you a phone call just to diss your business. I know you're a business owner and I respect you for that. Mm-hmm. But there's obviously a lot of things that I'd like to show you. Because and, and at this point, by the way, guys, like there's a checklist that he goes through. So, for example, he'll check stuff like is there a Facebook pixel installed on the yeah. website? And there's no Facebook pixel installed. Like 90 percent of the time, they're not doing Facebook advertising or if they are, and they don't even have a pixel installed on their website, like that's that's an immediate like a tell all that he, he should be calling me. So yeah. at this point, he go I mean, as I said, I put I've completely put him on the spot, guys. Like, mm-hmm. like just remember it's first time on YouTube, first time in front of camera. Um, <laughs> Chow uh, gang. Um, but like look, as I said, like he would know, you know, he, he tracks the analytics of their website, he tracks stuff like their Facebook pixel, he tracks stuff, he looks at their social media, their engagement, um, you know, their overall branding, stuff like that. And he has, you know, through tools that we'll talk about in the social media marketing course, like he has a lot of actual info on the business before he even calls. So when I ask something like that, like, you know, like why, why did you decide to call me? He can actually point out that info, but like, yeah. Yeah, just. yeah. And also something that's very important, the more you know about the business, once you get in, just once you get on the phone with the decision maker, you can pre-plan the objections that he's going to have. Mm-hmm. Obviously, you can tell as a marketer when they're already working with a with a marketing agency. So you already know what to expect from that. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, uh, do prepare for a lot of objections. Pretty much what we did right now is objection handling. But yeah, the, the more you know about their business, the more capable you're going to sound on the phone, mm-hmm. the more comfortable you're going to be, and the more they're going to notice that you actually care about their business. Mm-hmm. Which is very well, one of the things I always notice with you is you never you never block an objection, yeah. which I find super like he he never. Like, and I, I, as I've, you know, guys, I have like so many coaches, so many mentors and I have friends. Like he's literally like, he, he started off as my sales guy. Like now one of my closest friends, like, he, like I, I study and I learn from these people. And one of these, one of the things I always notice is you never go, like if I, I if I go, um, uh, you know, my audience isn't on Facebook. Like you, you would never go, no, actually blah, blah. You always, you always just kind of like loop around it. Yeah, of kinda, course. Well, yeah, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta take the customer's perspective, right? Like, when, whenever you're arguing with somebody, whenever you got, you're getting a discussion, you're not gonna get anywhere just by saying that the other guy's wrong. Mm-hmm. The other guy only cares about what he just said. So, as long as you acknowledge it, and then find a way to deal with that objection by offering some more information, the guy's gonna be cool with it. And again, remember, most of the objections you're getting are just complaints. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, as long as you have that in mind. Okay, okay. Yeah. Re- really, really good question. What's the difference between an obje- like an objection and seriously like yeah. fuck off, like no? Well, I mean, you can tell straight away. Like, if you approach a girl at the club and you grab her by the arm and she almost tries to slap you, or she tells you like a solid no, I'm not interested in being with you. Then you're like, okay, whoa, like I shouldn't just like go ahead and try to go for the kiss now. Okay, she's actually he's actually objecting. Mm-hmm. A complaint, on the other hand, must be like you come you come across you come across you talk to a girl and they're like, oh no, I don't have time. I'm with my friends or whatever. Yeah, yeah. They're just complaining, dude. They just they just trying to see what your reaction will be. It's like when you talk to somebody on the phone. It's a sh- it's a, it's it's what's known as a shit test. Yeah, it's like a shit test, dude. Like if you go up the street and some guy just stops you, hey, what's up, man? Your natural response, you don't even know anything about this guy. He might be about to offer you a million bucks. Mm-hmm. Your first response is gonna be, oh no, dude, I I don't have time. Okay, I'm not ejecting because if he told me he's gonna, he's gonna give me a million bucks, I'd stop straight on my ass and be like, yeah, all right, give me the money. That, I love that. All right, give me the money. Yeah. But uh, I just have a natural, I just have a natural tendency. Humans have a natural tendency to just create mm-hmm. complaints, mm-hmm. and that's that's what sells. That's what people do when you're selling to them. Mm-hmm. They're gonna complain all the time. Doesn't mean they're not interested. Mm-hmm. Doesn't mean they don't want to buy your service. Doesn't mean that you're fucking up. It's just what natural. No, it's just the natural 
uh, a natural thing for humans to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and guys, just remember they're gonna test like, and I even look even like cold call or not. If I'm at a meeting, there's they, like they still give me shit tons of shit tests because they need to see how long can I keep up my my character for. Like anyone can play a character or have an amazing sales script for for X amount of time, but then they're gonna throw these shit tests at you, these difficult questions, which you should have a sales script to prepare for. You should know your objections. Yeah. The more more core, like, dude, he, he knows how to handle every objection under the sun, but um, they're gonna do that to kind of like test your character because, you know, perfect analogy, like if someone, some random person on the street is about to give you a million, like you need, like, you, like, what they're going to give you something incredible in the same way you're about to give your clients something incredible. They just don't know it yet. And they need an, a, a, some, um, you know, they need some, like they need it settled in their heart that like you, uh, like you actually are who you say you are. Like they need to sense that congruence. And that's, that's where you need that belief though, because if you don't have that belief, you're not going to be able to push through the obje objections, push through the sales process because you're not, you don't actually believe you're offering the guy a million bucks, mm -hmm. which you are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I guess, I mean, the guess you've worked on your business enough that you think you are, or even if you're not, it's just, if you know what you're doing. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, and once again, as I said, that's something we're gonna go over like hard on the course, yeah. is the fact that like most of you guys are underpricing yourself, you don't even realize the value that you're bringing to these businesses, and like that's something we're really diving deep into in the course, uh, so that when it comes to picking up the phone, well, you're you're about to give them the fucking world like a like it's not it's not hard to sell this stuff but um yeah is there any like last closing closing points uh or? yeah for sure because i know it's a lot of information and sales is something that's usually something that you guys don't go deep into so i don't want to overwhelm you with all this the main thing that you guys should um, walk with from this chat is that cold calling works number one get out start getting on the fucking phones no matter what your excuse is uh and number two just do it Okay, sales at the end of the day is always a numbers game. You can you can you can you can raise your closing ratios depending on how much you know about your product, uh, about how to handle objections. But as long as you tomorrow start getting on the phone, even though if you don't know what you're doing, as long as you got a good attitude, you know what you're talking about, you know your product, and you get in front of enough people, you're gonna make sales. Period. Mm -hmm. Period. So stop doing whatever the fuck you're doing. Stop sending those emails that get no response whatsoever and start getting on the phone, dude. Do something different. Your main issue is obscurity. That's it. All right, there we have it, guys. So as I said, like cool little way to announce uh, the social media marketing course coming end of January. As I said, I would never fucking like tell you guys something that I've never practiced, which is why we've got this guy on for literally like six, seven modules, right? Like he'll, there'll be an hour of content straight directly from him. As I said, I kind of put him, like, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I kind of put him on the spot here, like never done YouTube, like this, like take, 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 like it should mean a lot coming from me. Like this guy knows a lot, a lot about sales. And I was like, I was just stunned by what he was able to do for my agency personally. So we got a little, uh, a full section on sales straight from Esteban. Uh, hope you guys enjoy this video and uh, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Sweet. Sweet.